Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two new features of Screencastify that were released this week. The first is viewer analytics, and the second is the option to add interactive questions into your Screencastify videos. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So here's my New England States lesson that I recorded using Screencastify. And you can see here, I'm in the default setting of private, only I can see it right now. So let's change that. And I'm gonna change this to anyone with this link. Now, anyone with this link can view this anonymously, or I can say they have to enter an email address or that they have to enter a nickname in order to view the video. I'm gonna leave this one as anonymous for the purposes of this demonstration. I'm gonna save that. And now I'll show you what it looks like to a viewer. So I'm gonna copy the, the watch page link and a viewer will see it this way. They'll see this little hold tight. Your video will be ready soon. And they can now play the video. And let's go ahead and minimize that. And now as the owner of the video, I'll reload this page. And I'll see I now have a viewer count of one. And I'll have a list of my viewers. Now, I did not require people to put in nicknames or email addresses, so it's showing me anonymous viewers for now. The other new feature of Screencastify that I want to show you is the interactive questions. So with this, I can build multiple choice questions directly into the timeline of my video. I'm going to fast forward it here to about the 15 second mark. And now I'm going to add my question. And my question will be written right up here, which New England state was left out in the highlighting. I'll put in some answer choices here. Now I put in the correct answer choice. And let's save that. Now I can add as many questions as I like into my video. But again, for the sake of this demonstration and keeping it short, I'm just gonna put in that one. And now let's share that. I'm gonna copy that watch page link. And I'm gonna open that up just as a student would or any viewer would. And they'll play the video back. And we'll see there, now the question pops up. They have to answer the question. There's Vermont, submit it, get that instant feedback, and then continue on to watch the rest of the video. Now, as the instructor here, I can look at my responses and see that I have an anonymous viewer who scored 100%. And again, when I used my watch page settings, I did not require a username or email address, which is why all my viewers and their answers are anonymous right now. In a real classroom setting, I'd obviously require my students to have their names in there. So those are two handy new features of Screencastify. If you don't see these features in your account right away, be patient, they'll be there pretty soon. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.